Welcome to evening prayer, my friends, on this Tuesday evening here at St. John's. Our text for evening prayer this week is the Lord's Prayer, and we are comparing it to a rewrite of it in the New Zealand prayer book that has helped me understand the prayer in new and beautiful ways. Yesterday, we simply said the first line of the traditional version, our Father in heaven, the address, who we're praying to. And in the New Zealand prayer book, this is how that first line is written. Eternal spirit, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be father and mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. When we address God as our Father in heaven, we are saying all those things. We are addressing the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver, and the source of all. Then taking the next few lines in the traditional version, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Here is the version in the New Zealand prayer book. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. When we pray for God's kingdom to come and God's will to be done, we are praying for justice and peace and freedom here and now. I invite you into this evening prayer. Gracious God, thank you for being with us throughout this day. As night falls, we give this day back to you, trusting in you and in your unearned gift of grace to give us peace and rest. For you are just in all your ways and kind in all your doings. Amen. And now may the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Thank you for praying with me tonight. Rest well.